ladies, gentlemen, and gentlewomen. Tonight we play for you a few in history of Tom Jones, a founder. Set your minds at rest, good gentle people, for I am not a radio actor. I am your humble servant, Partridge, schoolmaster, surgeon, and of course, barber. I tell the story of Tom Jones because I'm, I know the facts. I have some small part in it, and I am, of course, told I have the wit to address so large and distinguished his audience as yourselves. But wit is, of course, a necessity in a barber. Some said Tom Jones was born to hang, and others said hanging was too good for him. But I say Tom was a paragon of virtue, misunderstood as the good so often are in this wicked world. Our story takes place more than 200 years ago, when the world was indeed wicked, funny, and licentious. In short, a time like any other. One, one more thing. Though I and the other characters in this history all wear mod were all born more than 200 years ago, you will notice we all wear modern dress rather than the costume of our period. This is the conceit of our director. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> this not only encourages you to use your imagination, but also greatly lowers the cost of your tickets. So, <laughs> please to imagine all the gentlemen in rock coats and breeches and all the ladies in gowns. And of course, if you wish to save even more money, imagine us all in wigs as well. <laughs> and lastly, you will note the smallness of our stage. This is the conceit of our school district. <laughs> Intermission will be between the second and third act. Tom Jones was born, or rather found, in Somersetshire, one of the green counties of England, at the estate of Squire Allworthy. This is the squire's sister, Miss Bridget Allworthy. She is to be commended for her good qualities rather than her beauty. I thank heaven I have not the beauty in the lady's profession. Beauty is a woman between Have no fear, dear lady. And this, <laughs> this is the squire himself. Return this very day after an absence of some months. I thank heaven for my safe return to London, where I can truthfully say they love me just as much as they do in the country. My wisdom, my godliness, and of course, my money. Welcome home, brother. Thank you. The squire exhausted. I'm exhausted. <laughs> retired immediately to his chamber, from which there almost instantly issued a great cry. Ah! Jones, after Jenny, and Tom, of course, after his own wit, Tom Jones. 
Shortly after I was banished, a certain Captain Blackwell became a guest of Squire Albany. Anne fell in love with his own sister. He certainly was a gallant captain, as Miss Allworthy was older than he, and to put it delicately, not the fairest of her sex. Ah, you say, beauty is only skin deep, and fades as a plucked rose. Oh, the deeper qualities of, as of life, such as, oh, money and property, last forever. <laughs> <laughs> and so on that note, they were married, and a year later, blessed with a fine, bouncing baby boy. <laughs> not long afterwards, Tragedy struck the good captain, and he died of an epilepsy. <laughs> or an epilepsy, depending upon which doctor you're talking to. Goodbye, Captain Wife. But you may go, but remember, there are no small parts. Only a small life. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, are you all right? Oh, yes. Mr. Jones saved me. Oh, but he's broken his arm. 